Welcome back to this new Shrine Guide video here on the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. My name is Michael and in this video, one of the more difficult shrines when you just leave the Great Plateau. In this series, I will show you exactly where to find all shrines and how to finish them. In this fifth video, the Kam Yatak Shrine, also known as the Trial of Power. This shrine is located in Hyrule Field, between the Great Plateau and the Central Tower, at the foot of Mount Daphnis. Are you ready to go in? Then let's go! This shrine is not as easy as the first ones. Lots of strong enemies and challenges await. To you who sets foot in this shrine! I am Kamyatak. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Trial of power, Kamyatak Shrine. Walk, jump and glide towards the hanging boulder and get your magnesis room. Look up and lock onto the metal bolt. Slide it all the way to the right and then release it so the boulder will smack open the doors. When going through those doors, be careful to not get hit by the big swinging boulder. Hold right, since that is the easiest way to continue here. The first part is easy, since only one spike ball is moving. The next one is more difficult, since five spike balls are moving. Get your magnesis rune again to stop the first ball. And hold it, so you can cross over without getting hit. Using a stasis rune is also an option. When you are past that part, too small but really strong guardians are waiting for you. Get your strongest weapon and fight them. Just make sure you don't die. Both guardians will drop guardian swords and some ancient springs. When you have defeated them both, continue your path. The right door here is closed, so we need to open it. Therefore, turn left. In order to save your arrows, you can also throw your sword to the rope. When you do, the fire will drop down and set the leaves on fire. In the meantime, open the chest, since an edge of duality is in there with a strength of 50 that is a real powerful sword at the beginning when you just left the Great Plateau. When the boulder falls, it will open the stone doors and you can continue. When turning left here, another treasure chest with another good sword, a knight's broadsword, is waiting for you. Open it. For now, it is easiest if you attach the strong Edge of Duability sword, since two more small but strong guardians are waiting for you. With that sword, only two hits is sufficient to kill them. Kill them both and loot whatever they are dropping. If you like this shrine guide, then please give a thumbs up to this video. That will help with the discoverability of this video. And when you're there, don't forget to subscribe to this Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. Then you won't miss my upcoming guides and other videos and it will also help this channel grow. I stream games like Zelda on Twitch, so feel free to check it out. Link is in the description down below. Moving on with the video. Continue the path downstairs and make sure you don't fall down like I do. Instead, get your stasis rune and freeze the plate so you can cross it. Now, move on. Go to the little platform on the right. Examine the pedestal and use your controller to smack the metal ball a few times in the big stone boulder. Eventually, it falls down and opens the next stone doors for you. Now, 
Now, get down. And before you go through the door, open the chest. Inside is an ancient core. And now you can continue to follow the path. This is a long path though. Go up here. Now cross over here. But for this part you need some skills. First get your bow and arrow, set your arrow on fire and burn those leaves away. Now big boulders start to fall. And as you can see when you stand on the button a ramp will appear. But holding it like this is not sufficient to make the boulder fly far enough. Therefore, you need to time this perfectly. First, get your stasis rune and freeze the big plate. Now, stand on the button at the right moment. Ooh, that is a close one, but not yet good enough. Well, we need to try this again. Stasis rune first, jumping on the button on the correct moment. Now, that is better. Now the big boulder is able to open the stone doors. Walk to those stone doors and then turn right. Get your bomb rune. It doesn't matter which one. And blow up this wall. A chest with a nice 100 rupees is hidden here. Go back and go stand on the button. The gate opens. Get your stasis rune and use it on this block. The easiest is if you have a hammer to hit it with. Keep hitting it until it releases. It opens the last stone doors. Now walk straight on. Up the stairs. Go stand on this platform and hit the switch. You will jump up. But instead of going straight to the monk, float towards the side here. Since one more treasure chest is waiting for you. Land and open the treasure chest. A diamond is inside. Get back down, hit the switch again, go stand on that same platform and hit the switch again. Now use your paraglider to glide towards the monk. Stand before him and press A. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Spirit orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the Goddess smile upon you. <laughs> well done! Now you've finished yourself the fifth shrine in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Please let me know in the comments if you thought this shrine was difficult or maybe not difficult at all. See you all next week in the next Shrine Guide video. This was Michael signing off now. See ya.